Artists from around the world are putting their skills to the test in Reedsport for the 13th annual chainsaw carving competition. KZI 9 News photojournalist Kathleen Spencer gives us a glimpse at the art. Oh, this sawdust and everything I own. You just kind of get used to it after a while. For the 2012 Reed Sport Chainsaw Carving Championship. I've been coming here 13 years. This is the 13th year of this event. There's a couple guys here now that uh, this is their first year competing, so it's really exciting to watch how nervous they are and go through the same things that I did when I was first starting. It was a little intimidating at first, but after getting down here and actually seeing everything going on, I think I can make it. We need to get more women out here, man. I'm telling you, it'd be awesome to start up like a women's division. Just go at it. Let the saw do the job. Don't push it. The saw's made to work for you, not you work for it. You'll learn a lot, and it's a lot of fun. I enjoy taking a round log, which has no value, and in a few hours making it into something. You can try to make money at something you love. I mean, it's hard work, but, you know, we, uh, we're driftwood carvers, so we, we go and get all of our wood off the um, coast. It, it's like uh, like a folk art. You make it live forever. It's almost like you're honoring, you know, cedar. Redwood, man, that's the best. The overcutting and making a mistake right now can really be pivotal towards them being able to complete their piece. There's always something new. There's always some new tool. There's always some new technique. There's always those aha moments, you know. <laughs> They're great. The daily quick carvings are auctioned off at 5.30 every night. The competition continues through Sunday with the final auction at 1 that afternoon.